Remember that time we were recording for 20 minutes and we didn't hit record? <laughs> Hi again. Hi again. We're back, guys. We got a new <laughs> topic and we're we're filming this one. <laughs> it's a redo. We're but filming this one. We forgot now. to maybe I forgot to hit record. It was just, you know, we were in rehearsal. Take two. We can talk about controversial topic in the growing community for autos here. Do you do this, babe? I know you do because you're on I do it all the time. Transplanting autos. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. A lot of people out here say, you know, never transplant autos. Don't come for me. Don't even think about it. But I mean, over the course of how long we've been growing on the channel, over a year now doing autos, you've always transplanted in the mm -hmm. five by five since the beginning. Mm -hmm going from solo cups to finish pot but you know how do you feel so i i like transplanting um personally a lot of people will say put it straight in the final pot in the final pot for Just, life and you know you do that you've done it that's how i do that's yeah. how but i have done the solo um before. but i prefer transplanting my autos and a lot of people don't like that but i have my own reasons for it and i um and i think that it works for me and i, I think that there is a timeline yeah to where you have that, that you have you have this window of time that you have to uh transplant an auto but i think it's totally plausible possible and i don't think it hurts the plant yeah i think in my opinion i think like you said there's definitely some do's and don'ts with with autos and transplanting so you know it does work but to some degree like i don't think you should necessarily transplant your auto like you would a photo like starting a solo go to a one gallon go to a three gallon go to a seven gallon oh yeah you know really there's with definitely autos, limitations when yeah. it comes to autos um i think one and done um, I don't, One. I, I, I have tried multiple, um, multiple. Tried. I did Gross do, years. go watch. I did do a, um, I went from a solo cup, I think to a one gallon to a three gallon to a five gallon. Is that what I did? Something like that. It didn't really help the plant. Yeah, um, it did. As I remember, it did finish out well, but it, it was very, sm it definitely stunted it. What happened to that plant? It was, it's kind of strange. It actually, it, it ate the nutrients in each plant pot so it's like i almost didn't have to feed it i was just giving it more soil yeah um so i did try that now it was a very runty plant didn't turn out very big um but as i recall it didn't have any issues no but i wouldn't do it again yeah there's definitely with the autos we think and what we found through growing is it one one transplant only and typically what you're doing with the solo cups is just starting them out in the solo cup yes. seems to work really good because you can have a small amount of soil you can know that it's not you know too hot or spicy we usually use something kind of nutrient neutral like a pro mix hp with yeah. a micro or something like that just something to start it out in that's light and then for the solos like you would do probably the first maybe 14 to 23 days um i would say 23 days is kind of pushing, pushing it, it. But um, around three nodes maybe i think you, you were saying um yeah between i would say between day 10 and 20 um i like to try to do it around day 14. yeah um, so it definitely has some le a little couple leaves on it yes. maybe a couple nodes uh, but it's you definitely established. know that it's gonna you it's an established plant it's got it's got a small root system you can definitely tell tell it's taking place yeah but, but i don't like, like over, it being too root bound yeah it's either. not like overrunning the cup yet it's yeah. like right before you're getting roots all over so that's yeah. when we would typically transplant into the final pot um and after doing that now for over a year with the grows like we haven't noticed or I haven't noticed, just looking at it. You guys can go watch the grow series and yeah, see. Yeah, you can watch and see for yourself. Yeah, too. everything in the five by five has been started in a solo and then transplanted to the final pot. But you, as far as like, is it gonna stunt your plant? Is it gonna screw it up later? Like all the ones you've done that, you've had plenty of autos over four feet tall, five feet tall, just massive autos that are, you know, it's definitely not stunting them. So I definitely think you can uh, without causing damage if you do it right. And I feel like- And kinda, in the right time, I yeah. feel like what the method that you've been doing and kind of worked on and kind of that's what you've grown over this past year it's working like you can definitely well, transplant the autos there's a few reasons why i personally like to transplant my autos 
Um, a, when I start it in the solo cup, I just do it a pretty neutral soil mix. And what I do is just worm castings and my HP, my, my, and my, just my, my soil. And I just mix that up and that's all it is. And it's a pretty neutral, yet abundant for my seedling. Um, and then once it gets to the point where I feel like it needs to be transplanted, yeah. Um, and then I put it in its final pot, and then I feel like it can actually take the nutrients that are in that yeah. final pot, so then it doesn't burn. So I think that that's personally, I mean, that's really why I lean towards doing it. Yeah, um, and, and it's then, worked amazing for Yeah, you. and then also, if I do, say I did just put my seedling right in my final pot, what if that seedling then dies? And now I just have this pot of mixed soil. Yeah. If you guys know, don't know, I have been using Nature's Living Soil in my recent runs. Um, I just wasted all that soil to just wait for my next run because I do a perpetual grow. It doesn't yeah. make sense for me to stagger anything. So then that pot is been sitting around for yeah. a while. So I don't really like doing that. So that's really my reason. Why yeah, I like sometimes it'll plant. start like the pot will dry out and you might not have time to plant the next one. I definitely think you can reuse some of that soil, but I feel like after it dries out, you know, you do have to kind of re-moisten it, recondition Agreed. it a little bit. Um, so starting in the solo cups kind of, you know, if it's not going to turn out well, you only got a solo cups worth, so you don't really have to worry yeah. about it. So there, that's like kind of a benefit and it's a time saver. It's a lot easier to just get a little solo cup and start one in than, you know, mix up your whole pot, get it all in there and, and then do it that way. You know, just to see if they're going to turn out. Because yeah. sometimes you have ones that do pop and then they just end up not, you know, for whatever reason, they just end up shriveled yeah, up. Yeah, just not, like, yeah. yeah. Even the ceiling, There it goes. Yeah. Why did you die? <laughs> um, yeah, and, you know, it's, it's completely based on, like, your personal preferences. Yeah. I'm not telling you to go out there and be like, transplants the way. Yeah. Like, you don't, I'm not telling you that you have to do it or my way is the way. I really... Kind of want to explore what works better for you guys and how you guys see the best plan yeah grow. we just want to talk about it and bring up the conversation because we, like i said in the five by five grow over a year now you have been transplanting and yeah now that i think back and look at it and watch the videos and, and think about those grows like there hasn't really been any stunting or issues with the plants i mean there's been issues from us being new growers but i don't yeah. think it's all related to starting in a solo cup and then transitioning to a final pot and, you know, even looking at your plants compared to mine, which I've always pretty much gone final pot mm -hmm. uh, with all my grows. And I don't notice a difference in the size of the plants. I've had plants that are runty that I always final potted. And I've had plants that are huge final potted, just like you've had five foot tall autos that you've transplanted from a solo cup. Like it's, you know, there's something, I think part of that can be a myth, like autos, you can do a lot with them, but there's keys and things, you know, like topping and stuff like that. Like they can only handle so much because it is that race to the finish. Mm -hmm. Like when you start it, you don't get second chances. Yeah. You can't veg it's it. It's on water. a timeline. It's got a timeline. Right when it and sprouts from that. Yeah, if you're doing stuff, you know, out of that timeline, it can really screw it up, like overwatering. There's tons of things that you can do that can cause issues beyond the transplanting. Yeah. And, and what we've seen through transplanting is that we don't think it's really as detrimental as some people try and make it out to be so if you want to try it or you've been thinking yeah. about trying it honestly Do it, i mean try what, it. what we're getting is that is just try it and have some fun see what you think see what you guys uh experience if you try and transplant either from a solo cup or maybe a multi-pot um, you know, I feel like if you're if you're doing it right, I'm a firm believer and try it for yourself. Yeah, and, and we've been trying it, and we don't really think uh, we've noticed any any detrimental issues. So your autos, you want to start in solos and transplant to a final pot. We think that's probably the best method. I feel like over one transplant is probably not going to be beneficial to an auto. Um, and really the timeline I mean, and will, how fast it, it goes. It will grow and it will it'll probably finish out and flower for you if you transplant it throughout. Um, yeah. I, I've tried that before and it was a fun, really fun experiment and I'll probably try it again. Um, we definitely got neutral. We, <laughs> if, if you guys watch the girls, you know we're all about experimenting and trying different things. For so. science. Yeah, for science. We got to <laughs> know. We got to grow. You got to grow to know. You so have to grow to know. We're, we're going to be trying this stuff. If you guys are curious about anything or you want to see us try something crazy with an auto, Comment below. Yeah. We'll, we'll try it. Do's and don'ts. If you don't ever... tell us we can't, because we gotta do it. We're, well, I mean, I don't like people telling me what to do. So. Don't tell me what to do. It's an Audi. Give me a leave. I, <laughs> I have a problem with authority. 
but we thought it was a kind of an interesting topic and we just wanted to share like our two cents on it after after growing after having transplanted for song after having tried multiple transplants mm -hmm. like that's just kind of our observations over our growth and like i said you guys can definitely go check out all of our grow series videos they're restricted on youtube but you can still find them if you just click on the channel and go to the grow series playlist like you can watch all our grows and what yeah. we've done check it the, out the crazy things yourself. we've tried and topping an auto six times or transplanting you know whatever we've tried it uh, but we just wanted to touch base on this topic because we thought it was kind of a good one it's kind of a you know hot topic in the community transplant autos don't transplant what do, do you guys you do don't uh -huh. what do you Ooh. do are you naughty do you do you transplant do you autos? take the red pill or the blue pill <laughs> do you take the red pill <laughs> wake up you can transplant autos once once one time only one and you done. get one shot if not then it's ruined one shot. you've ruined it Shout out to the growers who transplant autos. You know who you are. Okay. I'm a shot. Shot through the heart. You're too All the late. Shots. I don't know Gonna what kind of shot you're talking about. That was so good. You know what I do? I transplant out with CBD plants right to the trash can. You're mean. I. That's really mean. Sorry. Don't forget to check out our channel yeah, members. Yeah, check out our channel members, guys. If you guys like this video, smash that like button. Hit the bell for notifications. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out our Instagram for behind the scenes where you can join our channel members and uh, help support the content. We really appreciate you guys who do um, because it really helps us make more content and do more fun stuff with you guys. So we appreciate all the love and support. And we'll see you guys in the next one. See you in the next one.